Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Kingdom. So, I'm going to be doing more of the Holiday Cookie Bake Shop. The Cake Shop, you know. However, you may notice, why do I have 210 of these? Well, because, considering that this is soon coming to a close, there's only 10 days left, I want to get at least all the cutscenes done. And that means I want to get from 42 cakes all the way up to 60 cakes. And that's where at least you get, like, you know, the last cutscene with cotton. And then there's like, I guess, 10 more cakes that you can do. Maybe I can do that for like a one-off video. But I want to do a video just doing all these cutscenes. So I'm going to do 20 cakes. And even if I don't know what the cookie wants, I'm just going to look up what they want. Because I'm not going to like waste any of these cotton things. Because I wanted to make this a rather longer video just so I could get the rest of the cutscenes and like the rest of the unlocks. And also I can get level 8 cake shop, which would be pretty cool. But, with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and start on this. But, of course, I also need to say, if you want to leave your comments down in the comment section below for me to read, feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the cake, something entirely different. It does even matter as long as we have something that we can connect to and we're just having a good relationship with each other from community to creator, creator to community. That's what matters the most. And not only that, but I'm going to be reading comments from two sections of videos, depending on how long this takes, because this is probably going to be a longer video than usual. One from Just Take All of the Cakes, and another one from Pinecone Cookie and the luckiest draw video ever which i'm excited for those but of course we're starting off with literally adventure cookie saying good jelly am i feeling adventurous today a yellow bear jelly family cake will hit the spot please make it no less than two tiers wonder how tall it will be well i'm not going to say what cake because that would make me waste my uh stuff but i know it's going to be a two-tier cake so i assume it's also going to be a lemon thing but i'm not going to afford uh making any mistakes so yeah just give me a quick moment just give me a moment Okay, it's actually not that hard, to be honest. I kind of was right. You know, it was two tiers, and I think I did mention it was a lemon cake. So, it did have to be a lemon cake. It had to only be two tiers. However, you had to put no, uh, like, of the frosting on it. Like, I, I know it looks like I'm putting frosting on it now, but that's just part of the cake. I mean the, uh, the squeezies. Like, okay, this is fine, but then any of these? No. What you have to do, apparently, is you have to put on eight yellow bear jellies. Well, it does seem pretty easy, but, uh, I'm just saying in the moment, uh... It's kind of just part of me that I just don't want to mess up, you know? So, I just want to put exclusively eight here. Uh, this is going to look like a very odd-looking heart. Uh, take, just take this as you will. You'll probably still appreciate it. Confirm that. Heck, it looks like a very big cheeky smile. Just, you know, eyes, nose, and mouth. So, who cares? But there we go. Five hearts. This. This cake. A discovery of the century. Thank you very much for that good review. I'm going to go ahead and start reading some comments now before I continue on. One comes from Animator Gaming who says, Water. Just all capitals, just water. <laughs> of course that makes sense. And also, this A of Rowdy says, If you don't know, the toppings are arranged based on the categories. From right to left, the columns have fruits, then chocolates, then sugar figurines, and jellies. What? Why? Oh, maybe they mean uh, in the actual uh, shop. Okay. Okay, well, now we have muscle cookie. Oh, a big, huge protein cake. Make it with a heavy load of chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's a chocolate cake. And uh, I, I got nothing else out of it. I know it's chocolate. It's probably going to be stuff with like protein-esque, but I'm not going to waste my time messing this up. Okay, let's just say this guy wants a chocolate overload. I'm not even joking. So let's just immediately get on it without questioning the big muscle club uh plumbing. it's a sweet chocolate cream which obviously is asking for chocolate and obviously he wants to fully maximize four chocolate tiers and I, honestly after this i would have been confused like i would have assumed oh yeah chocolate and i can assume well if he wants big gains big bulk then probably wants you know you know a lot of it but of course then we get to the frostings and toppings because for the frosting he wants eight chocolate frostings probably eight or more but let's just be let's just be safe and go with eight because I'm not going to try and mess this up. So let's go with eight of these. Eight chocolate. Yes, indeed. No, I'm not trying to confirm. I'm trying to put it on. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which order. So I'm just going to put like a little goofy face on there. Uh, little cheeks. <laughs> little tiny cheeks. And a very tiny smile. Pretty sure they would very uh, like it that way. It may not look much like a smile, but it's very tiny. Four, I'm just trying to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we're going next, and it's four chocolate angels and four chocolate stars. I'm not even joking on this one. So we have one, uh, two. I guess we'll put a chocolate star at the bottom, three, and then right here, like like a little beard. And then we take these chocolate angels. I'm pretty sure. 
that, actually, let's just check something real quick. Yeah, okay, the, uh, what AU of Reality was saying was correct, because it goes from uh, fruits, then the chocolate, then the uh, sugar figurines, and then jellies. Okay, that's actually really cool. I like that. But let's put two right here, and then we're going to mirror it by putting two right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think that's perfect for five stars. I think. Come on. Okay, good. Hmm. That's one hefty cake. Let's go. One, a two. What, what, what was that supposed to be? Just a self-workout? Oh, nice job moonwalking. Boy. <laughs> cool. And now we have strawberry crepe. At least this one doesn't seem like... At least I hope it's not going to be more confusing later. So we have... Huh. Cake? Mm, I don't really want to eat cake right now, but... Oh, I do want to run some tests on the zesty lemon cream cake. Hmm. How tall can I get it? I guess I have three layers. So how should I decorate it? Can I have two of each chocolate frosting and mint frosting for experiments? Okay, whatever you say. Okay, what'd you ask for? Just meant trying to make sure zesty lemon cream, three tiers. Okay. Well, while I'm working on this cake, it's more obvious. I'm going to talk about the fact that I'm recording this on Christmas Day, and I'm probably going to upload this on a separate day. But Christmas was fun, especially in regards to some of the gifts I got. So while I'm making this cake, I'm actually going to go ahead and talk about the gifts that I've received. And I got some really cool ones. I'll go in some decent detail about them. Okay, that's perfect zesty lemon with three tiers. Uh, but let's go down the list. First of all, I got a very cool, like, fun gift, which was, it's a gumball machine, right? Okay, two choco frostings and two mint frostings. Okay, here's the choco. It's basically a gumball machine, but the thing is, it's like a Rube Goldberg gumball machine. If you don't know what Rube Goldberg is, think of, think of like, machines that have, like, chain reactions. Uh, this is correct, right? I'm two chocolate, two mint. I just don't want to distract myself while I'm talking. Choco and mint. Yeah, and two each. Okay, so that should be perfect. And no toppings. Yeah. But it's basically like a Rube Goldberg gumball machine where you press, like, it goes down and it does this whole entire chain reaction before you get the gumball. And it's so cool. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Let me take this to the lab and analyze it. I don't know why you need to analyze it, but at least thank you for the money. I think the Lord somehow you have a job, child. Okay, that's a giant axe. <laughs> don't talk to me about my past. Fragrant strawberry cream cake. That's all I want from you. It has to be a three-tier cake. Well, how do I want to decorate it, then? Can you decorate my cake generously with milk frosting? Well, what about the toppings? In the past, we used to share cakes with lots of sugar figurines. On them with my comrades. I mean, hey, I didn't ask you about your past. You kind of just put that on there yourself. But okay, I can make that cake for me perfectly fine. So it is fragrant strawberry with three tiers. Okay. But it is so cool because along with that, I think my mother gave me like five bags of gumballs that could perfectly fit in there. And the thing can only fit, I think, like, you know, 40 gumballs at a time. So I got a couple of gumballs to go through. But it's just so cool just for the novelty. And it looks so kooky and cool, too. Like, it has designs of, like, ice cream cones on it. Like, these colorful, like, spoon designs. It just looks so pretty. And I just love it so much. But, yeah, three-tier strawberry. Then you want, what, generous mountain milk frosting? Yeah, generously with milk. So let's just go with like more about ten. Uh, how? I'm not sure if it matters. Uh, maybe a little bit like a stern face. But like, it's just so cool because I could just put it in my room, and that's something that like it just kind of defines me in a really cool way that I like. Uh, right here. Yeah, like I said, a little bit stern. But oh, I just love that thing. I mean, it does have one issue. There's a part of the machine where you have to flip this lever, and Eight times out of ten, it is not going to uh, go up through the little tube where you have to shoot it up. And it's just kind of hard and ends up hurting your finger from time to time. But I think it's still cool. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven should be good. And then after that, you ask for lots of sugar figurines. Okay. Okay, well, I remember. Th these have to be the sugar... Oh, shoot. Which one were the sugar figurines? Was it these? I'm trying to remember, like... Because they did mention sugar figurines, but... Oh, don't tell me I gotta look this up, too, because I'm an idiot, because I forgot the names of stuff. I'm assuming it would be these, because wouldn't they, uh... You know, if only I had my recipe, like, book with me. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load up a video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up one of my old videos, and then just look at my own recipe book and see if it is correct with the sugar flipping recipe, I think. I'm just trying to remember... No, wait, that won't help at all, because I would need to load up the thing, I think... Actually, no, didn't I just load it up? Oh, I'm sorry if this, uh, I'm making a fool out of myself. I'm just trying to make sure my ingredients, which I think in this video, I actually end up uh, looking up. Oh, those are chocolate angels, tangy strawberries, sugar gnome figurines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I got, I got that. And you want loads 
Uh, let's just have a whole community of them. Two. <laughs> a whole party of them on your head. Four. Like, they're, a like, they're angry that they're on his head. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And one for your nose. There we go. That's perfect. I hope it's perfect, at least. But, yeah. That gumball machine is amazing. This cake. I've never seen anything like it. Be proud of yourself, soldier. You've done well. Well, thank you very much. Before I go on, I'm going to read some more comments while I do this. Uh, M uh, Michael Chang left, Forgot to leave a comment in the previous video, but you confirmed my assumption that their order would involve the sugar figurine type topping, aka the plainest flavor. By the way, the sugar flowers are sugar figurine toppings, but it was so interesting to learn that Angel had three orders that all relied on the t uh, topping types. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. And because I'm no good at favorites, my pick would be the classic chocolate chip cookie, and that are butter cookies. If you haven't heard of them, they might be a little bit more of a British thing. They're just like cookies, but soft and crumblier. Oh, interesting. Oh, and we got it. The final one, which... What is that thing? And Well, first of all, who's the next plug going to be? Pumpkin pie. Okay. Well, first of all, what is the thing that I just got? Is it the last topic? Magic lettering pens! What? What is that? And it's chocolate, too. Okay, well, we have pumpkin pie. So I'm like, Pom Pom wants something, too. Pom Pom wants cake, too. I'll order a sweet chocolate cream cake. <laughs> a forte will be enough for the both of us. So how should I decorate it? For the cake decorations, Pom Pom wants milk frosting, and I want blueberry frosting. Two of each one, please. Okay, simple enough. Now, in the meantime, how long has this video been going on for? Because I think I only served three or four cakes. It's already ten minutes in. Okay, well, let's just get this all done. Sweet chocolate cream cake, four tier. Okay, sure. Now, let me talk about another cool gift that I got. I got this electronic piano. And I know it does sound like relatively not as cool, but the thing is, it's just, it has 41 keys on it. And like, you could do a lot of settings with it. Like, you could change, uh, I think you could change the, uh, like, the different types of sounds that it makes when you press on a key. And, like, it's just so cool. And I was addicted to that thing. Because just, I always wanted, like, some formula, like, an electronic piano that I could just, like, test with music. You know, whenever inspiration comes to mind, I could just test with that. Uh, two milk frostings and two blueberries. Let's start with the blueberry first. Uh, but yeah, that piano, that's a really cool gift. I really love that. And now we move on with the milk frosting. I was playing that earlier today and like, man, if some, there's actually another thing I got, but I will talk about that after the piano and after I handed this cake. This should be completed. Yes. Perfect. I hope it's five star. Yes, indeed it is. Oh my, this is the perfect cake for us. Thank you very much. Well, thank you too for coming for the food. And also, my cake shop is now fully maxed out, so I really need no more upgrades. But now we have Cream Unicorn. Huh. I want something memorable. Could you make me a sweet chocolate cream cake? A two-tier cake? Yes, that sounds wonderful. Well, how do you want me to decorate it? I would like a merry-go-round with four of lemon frosting and mint frosting. Wait, I would... Uh, it, it would look like a merry-go-round with four of lemon frosting and mint frosting nicely paired together. Of course, I'm on that, and I like that. I'll even make it specially for you how you want it. So, by that, I'll try and make it look like a merry-go-round. Sweet Choco, two-tier. Uh, two but yeah, I really love that. I wanted that for, like, I don't know how long. And finally, that I got that for Christmas. It's amazing. But with that being said, there was another cool thing that I got for Christmas that I actually was more addicted to. And I didn't even want that for as long, but the, now, the, the fact that I have it is just so cool. It's basically a miniature DJ setup. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. My my love for DJ has now poured out into the real world. Lemon and mint. Okay. So we'll do lemon first. Uh, we'll do top, bottom, and then left and right. But, like, yeah. That thing is so cool. And I'm not saying it's as, like, you know, it, like, it's more cooler than the piano. Both are cool in their own plebbing way. But, man, I was addicted to that DJ setup. Okay, you want a mint? That would be this one. Because, like, it has turntables. It has little sound effect buttons that you can press. Like, it even has a miniature piano, while well, not as many keys as the uh, big piano. It still has, like, the feature where, like, it can change its sounds. See, look, that's a little, like, merry-go-round, you could assume, right? I would assume so. I'm pretty sure that you asked for no toppings. Yeah, it was just frosting. But that is an amazing gift. I was addicted to that. I was even playing, like, silly songs. The songs can go in reverse. You can change the tempo, like, the speed. You can change the volume. It's so cool, but... Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, five-star two again. This reminds me of Cookie Land, where everyone is laughing and having fun. I don't want it to end. 
that's fantastic. Now, before we go on, let's read some more comments. One comes from Molish Ahmed, who says, I have a bad feeling that the cake shop will end up like the burger restaurant if these cookies want to be this cryptic. Just a feeling, I don't basically eat. I don't eat basically any cookies. I eat biscuits instead of cookies the majority of the time. Well, that's fine, too. I think there are some biscuits, like, that are very good out there in comparison to others, but I think biscuits are just a good treat in general. And also, Lenon DeGio left a comment saying, my favorite type of cookie is gingerbread. Uh... Sure, yeah, gingerbread is, oh, it has a really nice flavor. Gingerbread, I'd say, has one of those distinct flavors that you could, you just cannot mistake. Like, it's very iconic. I would say I'll do Alchemist, and then I'll read a common question of the day, because I already went through a solid amount of these cake things, so let's keep it going. Uh, and, anyway, hello there, Alchemist Cookie. Sweet helps me stay focused on my research. A zesty lemon cream cake sounds perfect. A two-tier cake, but no miscalculation size. Okay, well, how should I decorate it? Two lemon frosting designs shall be like a perfect formula. And toppings? Hmm. The formula here is tart cherry times two. Okay, sure enough. Sounds simple enough. It has a lot of two. Two lemon frosting, two tart cherries, uh, two-tier cake for zesty lemon. Sure, there's a lot of two in mind here. But yeah, that DJ, th the little DJ kit is like one of my most like hyped up like toys that I've had. I swear, that that was just like addicting. But I don't want to be too loud with it because, man, I'm just going to be stuck on that like all day and night. But there's that part done. We can move on to the frosting. It's two, it's two lemon frostings, right? And then two tart cherries. Yep. So we'll just do a uh, tart cherry on top of here. Let's do a big dollar for you. Tart cherry down here. Big dollar for you. Go over here. And then we're done. Then we do two tart cherries. One at the side, like here. And then one at the side. We can reverse it right here. It actually looks like a little bird face now that you look at it. <laughs> kind of. Well, anyway, that was rather quick. I think we can get through another cake before I read the common question today. I'm going to do it at the 20 minute mark, quote unquote, because uh, I might do some editing out because, you know, I pause the recording whenever I try and look up for a recipe. A perfect formula yields perfect results. Oh, hey, that's perfect. All right, continuing on to the next cake. Let's try and get at least 10,000 coins. You know, I'm trying to be rich. What is this? Shh. Even the walls have ears. Zesty lemon cream cake. Make it three tiers. All right, well, how should I decorate it? Lemon frosting and mint frosting. Two of each. Quickly, please. Okay, simple enough. I can make that for you in a jiffy. I can't probably go at ninja speed, but hey, I'll try. Zesty lemon, three tier. Let's get that started. But uh, what other gifts do I have? Oh yeah, here's something funny, which I think I think would be very funny to mention this. So remember how I mentioned in the update video? Uh, oh, this is I fell down in a Walmart recently because uh, I had low blood sugar, I guess. Uh, so I was trying to watch the amount of sugar that I ate, but the funny thing is, you know what one of the Christmas gifts I got, which I think was just super funny, uh, super funny, super funny, it's a three pound Hershey bar. Yeah, it's that big, it's giant, and I actually got one of those, like, in a previous year, but oh my gosh, imagine, like, having it fall down in Walmart, and then just getting something like that, after you said, like, oh, you got low blood sugar, I guess you need to calm down with the sugar. And then you get that. Now, to be fair, I'm pretty sure my mother found that when, before that happened. Okay, lemon frosting and mint frosting. And it's two times of each. Lemon, okay, lemon, lemon, mint, mint. All right. But it's just so funny. I just like that aspect. Uh, I'll do another uh, cross air. We did lemon, lemon, mint, mint. So now here comes the mint, mint. There's one mint, and then there's another mint, which I think is funny. Now, of course, I am going to enjoy that chocolate bar, but I'm not going to eat the whole thing whole. Like, like, that would be... I know it's probably... It's possible to probably eat that in one sitting. But, sheesh, that's so much chocolate. I'd rather, like, space it out and just probably use it in, like, other ways. Like, maybe I'll turn some of the chocolate to chocolate syrup and then put it on other foods and ingredients and stuff. Like, don't just eat chocolate whole. Just, like... Well, not that, but, like, don't cheat, eat chocolate by itself. Well, like, add chocolate with other things. Like, maybe s'mores or just, like, you know, brownie mix or something. Impeccable technique. I commend you. Well, fantastic. We already went through how many? Eight? I think eight cakes. I think we only need to do like ten more. So I'll do one more cake. And then we have Kamiho King. Yippo! Can I have a sweet chocolate cream cake? Mm, I would love a two tier cake, darling. Alright, well, how should I decorate it? Frosting, huh? How about a little bit of mint frosting? Okay, so that's like three or less or something. So maybe I would just put three down. Okay, well, that seems fair enough. You want, at least I know three mint frosting and chocolate cream cake, sweet chocolate, at least uh, two tier. Okay, sure. Seems simple enough, but yeah, that's ex that that chocolate bar, and of course, of course, I'm decorating chocolate right now. So how ironic is that? But yeah, I know I would be no normally ending the video like right about this point, but right now this is probably like the halfway point. But a little bit of mint frosting. Yes, I got you. But yeah, mm, what else did I get? Oh, I got some stuff in my stocking. I thought it was really cool. Uh, mint frosting. Let's just do like three, or maybe I could just do two. But 
I don't want to do too much. Uh, just do three just in case. If not, then that's a mistake that's on me. But that should be it. Uh, you know, I got some candy as well. You know, some Skittles. Uh, Fun Dip, which happens to be one of my favorite candies ever. Uh, some Nerds. And also, I got a... Uh, okay, perfect. Oh my, what a wonderful cake. Almost as perfect as me. Of course it is. Not even a hundred. <laughs> Little gold digger, you. Uh, okay, we're at 20 minutes, actually. At least by the time that I'm recording this. Oh, that is long. Okay, well, I may as well ask a common question of the day, which I know I've been going on the theme of, like, you know, you know, what's your favorite, like, pie, cake? Like, what's your favorite flavor of this? Instead, I'm going to ask, what is your favorite gift that you've received for Christmas? Like, out of all the gifts that you received, what do you think was the one that you liked the most? Now, you don't have to go into too much detail about it, but I got to be honest, that DJ setup it was probably one of my favorites, but there's another one that I'm going to mention as I make this cake, but I just want to... I just wanted to ask that question to y'all. But anyway, back to this. A delightful cream dessert is always quite pleasing. I would like to order a Silky Meal cream cake. Thank you very much. Four tier cake would be delightful. Well, how should I decorate it? Lemon frosting and strawberry frosting seem like a wonderful combination. I would like two of each topping, if you please. And what about toppings? Hmm, do you happen to have any recommendations for fruit and chocolate toppings? Two of each, please. Okay, so any fruit and any chocolate? Okay, sure. That's interesting, at least it gives me a little bit more variety, but okay. So now, while I'm working on this cake, Silky Milk Cream 4 tier, let me tell you about probably one of the biggest gifts that my brother ended up getting me, and he came in clutch. So, I saw this box and like, this was apparently a surprise gift I didn't even expect, but he got me, no joke, a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Nintendo Switch OLED model. I am not even joking, that, I did not expect to get that. I had the OLED, like here's the thing, in real life, I have the Nintendo Switch that I got from, ironically, my brother a couple uh, Christmases ago because it was a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Nintendo Switch, which was so cool. And that was just so we don't have to share one Nintendo Switch because now the one that we used to share together is now his. But he gave me my own personal one. And I also have the Nintendo Switch Lite, which if you don't remember, I got that from an arcade video that I won myself, which I'm very happy about that, proud of that. But I never had the OLED model. I'll say it's two lemon and two strawberry. Okay, sure. So let me, let me make sure that's correct. Lemon, frosting, strawberry seems like a wonderful combination. Two types. Okay, lemon, lemon, strawberry, strawberry. So let's do two lemon. But, oh my gosh, that was probably an amazingly shocking little gift. And apparently the Switch comes with both Scarlet and Violet. So I put lemon, lemon, strawberry, strawberry. Like, both games. It's absolutely insane. Because the thing is, I own both games from the double pack that I bought because I pre-ordered that. Not, It's not even because, like, oh, I wanted to get the special pin that came with the game. But no, it's just so me... So, you know, so me, myself, and I could play Scarlet, and my brother could play Violet. It's just, it was like an investment for both of us. But now I have the Switch, and it has both games, which is shocking. Okay, two fruits and two chocolates. So these will be chocolate, these will be fruits. So how about, uh, two lemon, and let's test out our new chocolate. How does this work? Hmm. Oh. And... Actually, that, that might be too risky because I'm not sure how much would be enough. So I'm just going to put on the uh, Chocolate Angels. That that looks like you would have a lot of creative freedom on it. But, yeesh. So, two fruits, two chocolate. Yes. Alright. But, I'm not even joking. That was probably one of the most insane gifts I've gotten this year. I'm not even joking. What a beautiful cake. Do you have any plans to visit the Republic? Would you be interested in opening a branch there? Well, I'm just saying, you probably know way more about how to open a business than I do. So... That's just, if you cover all the financial stuff, then you'll be fine. All right, let me read some comments before I go ahead, because there's still a few comments I haven't read. Red for Herodom left two comments saying, one said chocolate, which I can assume that's maybe uh, just chocolate cookie, which that's a very good cookie to eat. And also, he left a comment saying, I made a cookie miss cookie, or no, a cookie miss comic featuring werewolf. That's adorable. I'm glad to see more users starting to use Comic Studio because I genuinely love that website. And let's also read a comment from Ian Also Brooks who said, I saw your most recent post. How are you feeling? I also like Double Chocolate. Double Chocolate is very good. And I also mentioned how I was feeling in the update video that I recently posted on December 24th. So go check that out if you want to know how I'm feeling. But right now I'm feeling good. But now we have the Affogato who's been memed onto me a fish. Will you make me a silk <laughs> Will you make me a silky milk cream cake, please? Oh, coins? Of course. You won't be disappointed. Now, look me in the eyes. How many tiers do you think I want? A four-tier cake, right? I, I don't care about your, uh, just how do I decorate it? I'll have milk frosting and chocolate frosting for the decorations, four each. Well, what about the toppings, dude? Make me the most impressive of cakes with four chocolate, 
and four sugar figurines on top. Okay, sure. I guess it's just chocolate stuff in general. This seems like a very excessive cake, but I gotta be respectful to the affogato, I guess, the clubbing betrayer. Uh, Silky Milk Cream 4 tier cake. At least it makes sense why they do want, if he does want like a clubbing giant cake. Probably just wants to make the most usage out of me working. Probably gets some turn on of me just like working so hard. I'm just like, oh, I'm making the freaking most complex cake for you. And he's just like, yes, keep going. And he's going to come back immediately to score like more. Because <laughs> of course, why wouldn't he? Okay, that's your four tier Silky Milk Cream. Perfect, there you go. What else did you plebby need? How many? How much more stuff do I gotta add? Four milk frosting and four shaka frosting. Okay, sure, I got you. Let's do milk, and then and it was milk, right? I'm just trying to make sure. Milk, milk, because I know if I get one thing wrong, they're gonna be like the absolute like biggest like, oh uh, like disrespectful Karen, but in the most smug way because they're no they're gonna be right on the mistake that I made. Uh, milk and then shaka. Okay, there's the milk. Now here comes the Chaco. I'll even do it a little bit inwards just for you, just so I can actually like, you know, make it special just for you. Someone like you, you know? One of the best cookies in the game. Anyway, next up, recipe is uh, four chocolate and four sugar, uh, sugar figurines. So these will be the sugar figurines. Uh, four, okay, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, please, in the corner, please, I beg you. Three, four, and then uh, four, I guess any chocolate in general. Or each, I'm just trying to make sure. With four chocolate and sugar figurines on top. Sure. And we'll just make these into chocolate. Uh, one, two, three, four. Now you better like this cake. If you don't, I will be insulted. Please. Oh, thank everything. Huh. Yes. This is it. I can't stop myself from laughing. Of course you can't stop yourself, because you really like to watch people hard work while you do nothing. Anyway, more cheer- well, not the most- <laughs> I was gonna say a more cheery face, but that's probably not the most cheery face I've seen. It smells like freshly cooked food in here. Mm. Can I have a sweet chocolate cream cake? Two tiers should be enough to share with everyone. Alright, how should I decorate it? Chocolate frosting and mint frosting. Four each on top. Done. Deal. First for you, uh, sweet chocolate cream two tier. Gotcha. Now, I'm gonna- I haven't even tested this OLED yet, because I don't even know how to go about that! Like, jeez, like, how do you just go ahead and just go like, Oh, I just got a new Nintendo Switch at the- like, the best Nintendo Switch that you can get so far. And you just go about that normally, like, come on! One of the greatest gifts, I can't thank him enough for that. But, let's also talk about that. My brother also did a get- uh, did get another gift, but it wasn't for me, it was for my cat, Plubums. Which, I'm not sure if you don't know, know, uh, don't know about, chocolate and mint. Uh, but... My, uh, I recently found a stray cat at the front of our house who kept visiting, and I decided to take him in and call him Plubbums. Why did I call him Plubbums? I don't know if the word Plub is iconic, and there's no way that you can mistake some other cat by the name of him, like, you know, Richard or George or something like that. There's the four Choco, now let's put on the four Mint. But, yeah, it makes the name more iconic. Let's make it a little bit more spread out for you. It's kind of like a square. But anyway, he ended up getting this, like, cat house, which if you don't know, it's basically this cat tower that has, like, you know little house that he can run inside a little rope and basically it's like a little tower that he can jump up i'm pretty sure some people know what i'm talking about but if you don't know then you can probably just look it up and you'll instantly know what it is but there you go there is black raisin cookies cake and hopefully it's four star yes indeed amazing it looks great even without raisins oh i wish you if, if you just gave me some raisins I, I probably could have sprinkled them on top let's read some more comments uh game with some gaming left a comment saying my favorite type of cookie is gingerbread with loads of frosting and you know, first of all, gingerbread with loads of frosting. Gingerbread is already iconic enough, but that's interesting. But also, Scrafty with Kujo's hat left a comment saying, Cake. I commented this on random. Well, okay, good for you. Anyway, Linda and Geo had also left another comment saying, I love the thumbnail. And it was the thumbnail where I had Werewolf saying, I woo. And, <laughs> I was, and I put in the response, I don't speak furry. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of that thumbnail. But, uh-oh, we have Hoo Hoo saying, What a lovely day. I'd like to order a cake for a little end of the year gathering. A little cake, like a tiny sprout. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to bake it for you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This one you could probably get yourself, but you have to be very precise with how it, uh, how it's formatted. Because here's how it is: you need the sweet chocolate cake, and you need two layers. Even if I tried this on my first time, I wouldn't have gotten it. I'm too stupid for that. But like, you put it on there. And then you go to the next one, just splatter it on there, and then that's done. 
Then you just have to move on to the frosting, which is one mint. Look at this. Wait. That's it. That's the whole cake. That, that's literally it. I'm not even joking. No toppings or anything. It's just a tiny sprout. Wow. You know how to make me happy. That's, that's, I'm sorry, that's one of the cutest cakes. Oh, and by the way, I think Herb got us to like over 10,000, 10 grand. Oh, here's one of my favorite cookies. We have Fresh Oli Claire, which I may as well finish the comments on this video right now because there's only a few left. Black Light Murderer says, so can I say trash cookies? And JK, I'm most definitely in chocolate chip, sugar, or lemon cookie type of guy. I mean, hey, if you like trash cookies, I'm not saying I'm uh, de like deflecting your claim. I'm just saying you kind of, you gotta, you gotta eat those. <laughs> Ducks for Duckies also left a comment saying early. I'm glad that you're early to the video because you're quite the early bird. And there's two comments from Shadow Does Stuff saying, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if my favorite type of cookie would be some sort of coconut cookie if it exists. But they also say my favorite type of cookie is blue velvet. It tastes exactly the same as red velvet, but special. That's interesting. Imagine a blue velvet cookie in the game. Wonder how they would act. I don't know. But we've finished all those comments, so if, if there's any other comments that I read, it's going to be from Pinecone Cookie and the luckiest draw video ever. That video. But anyway... Hello there. Nice to get the, uh, the nice to get all the stuffy office for a change. I would like to order a silky milk cream cake, please. Could I have a two-tier cake, please? Okay, well, how do you want me to decorate it? Two milk frosting designs su su should suffice. And to and to <laughs> toppings. I would like two chocolate stars, as it reminds me of the ancient Hollyberry Kingdom's full course dinner. Of course, that sounds like a nice and festive cake. So if once we get down to thirty of the piping bags. We'll be all set. We'll have everything set for the cutscene, but I could probably do one more video, or maybe I could do one more video, or I could do one more cake in this video, getting down to 20, just so I could do, like, I don't know, more, just all the way up so I can get to, like, nine more cakes done, which will be the max out of the topping, piping bag things. But anyway, uh, Silky Milk Cream 2 tier, 2 tier, 2 tier. Okay, done, that for, done for you in a jiffy. Splatter, splatter, splatter. Now, of course, I did get some other gifts. Well, I don't think they were as big as the other gifts I've gotten, but... Man, those were just two very good gifts, I have to admit. Silky Milk Cream, two tier, done. And you wanted two milk frosting? Yeah. Like, one gift I can remember getting is, uh, I did get some, a pair of, some, some pairs of Pokemon socks, which I think they were very adorable. Especially, they came in, like, a pack of three. And I think they're gonna be nice. And, honestly, at this time of the year, with how freezing it gets, that's very good for me to wear with how cold it can get. And two Chaka Stars, perfect. That is numero uno. And then numero dos. That's everything you need, right? It should be. I'm hoping it is. Yes, it is. There we go. See this part here. Impeccable detail. I can't wait to try it out. I think I'm going to become a regular, if you don't mind. Hey, if you bring the business, then you bring the bucks. So I don't mind that at all. But anyway, yeah. I also got another gift where... Actually, let me read this order first. Hollyberry? Ah, oh, how fortunate. I was just thinking of a cake. A sweet chocolate cream one, please. Ha! Huh. A cake for Hollyberry cookies should have been two tiers. Cheers. And how should I decorate it? Do you recommend lots of strawberry frosting? Sounds like a plan. And toppings? How about lots of fruits? Okay, I'm on it. Let's bake some cake. All right, so you want, you want a lot of stuff too, but not many tiers. So sweet choco with two tiers. I, I like how you want a lot of strawberry stuff to be added on it to combat the amount of chocolate, because chocolate can be a powerful flavor. So that is one tier. You're asking for two. Let's get that on there. A gift that I also got was like, it was SpongeBob pants. But it was pants in a can. I'm not even joking. It was a soda can and it had SpongeBob pants inside of them. And I think that's funny. All right, you want lots of strawberry frosting. Well, I'm definitely not going to skim out on the Hollyberry, like, you know, what, Hollyberry Queen? I guess I could say it like that. Like, sheesh. Like, the, the best, you know what the best thing I could say? Holly, the, the Hollyberry and Girl Boss. That's the best way I would describe. Okay, that's five, six, seven. And then this will be 8, 9. And then I can I think I'll get out of 10, 11, 12, and 13. Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 10. We'll do one more with 11. And then we'll have 12 and 13 down there. But yeah, I haven't even opened that yet because I thought it was just so funny. <laughs> but anyway, I did get a couple other gifts too. Uh, oh, something I got for Christmas Eve. It was actually a phone VR headset. Where basically it's something where you snip your phone into it. Oh, lots of fruit. Okay, how about some... Wait, tart cherry. They're, they're chocolate, right? They're, they're fruit. Okay, okay. How about lots of fruit? So, one, two, and let's give, how about some fruit variety? Because you just said fruit in general, right? I'm pretty sure. So, let's do some blueberries. Uh, bloop, bloop, and then bloop, and then, 
Oh, no, wait. Undo. Because I got to reverse them. I got to make this perfect for the Hollyberry Princess. Or Hollyberry Girl Boss. So, there we go. Please. There we go. And now, let's do a few more. Uh, how about... Like, like some walls or something. Yeah. And then reverse that. But... Yeah, uh, anyway, like, it's this thing where, like, you snip your phone into it, and, like, you can watch, like, 360, re like, virtual reality videos, and it's so cool. By the way, I think this is my most detailed cake yet. Yes! What an impressive cake! The royal baker of the Hollyberry Kingdom could learn from you. Oh, that means a lot to me. M beautiful Hollyberry Princess. Winner of the, uh, what was it? The Cookie Run Tumblr Girl Water? Wh huh? Huh? you a cake top with all and all kind of fruit so okay i understand it's all kinds of fruit but uh, what the fuck is this yeah this one's just the fruit overload so first of all you want i guess it does make sense to choose vibrant blueberry cream because it's most relatable with frosting i guess you know in terms of color and you need to be four tiers and there's uh no frosting on it either i'm pretty sure you just want the cake to just be this normal color which I think is fine. But anyway, that gift that I got on Christmas Eve was cool because we have this tradition. On Christmas Eve, we can open one of the many Christmas gifts down under the tree. But yeah, I, that is a really cool gift and I like watching videos on that. No frosting. And I think it's like eight of each fruit. I think it is. So let's just go super creative on this one. So like, I guess little X or something. I want to get somewhat creative with this cake, but like not too super chaotic four and heck this could also be wrong too maybe it's like as long as it's like eight or more then who cares but we'll just do safe i'm just reading the guide just to make sure that i do get it right there's there's people who are smarter in this game than me so obviously i'm just following what they do uh plumbing uh boop boop and then hold these ones together like it's a little little cart like they're de like they're being deployed oh it's perfect and this will be like the little wall of it Bada bing, bada boom. Except that one's in front somehow. Okay, anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do, uh, like, they're all, like, in, it's like a little gladiator game, like this one. Yeah, oh, I like that. It's like a little gladiator, and it's like a team tournament where you have four teams and they're just competing to be the best. Boom, boom, and boom. Perfect. Eight, 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 four tier. I think that's perfect. If it's not, I'm going to run out the door. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm so, there's no way I was going to get that on the first try. We only need to do three more cakes just about, so stay tuned. The video is nearing its end. And, oh, we have Dark Choco here. How? Okay, I think this should be straightforward. I, it just kind of scared me. Every year on my birthday, the palace chef used to bake me a fragrant strawberry cream cake. It's now only a memory. A four-tier one. Okay, well, decorations. All I want is some simple blueberry frosting. And make sure to add a lot of it. And what about toppings? Is it foolish to accept a cake with lots of fruits on it? No, you, you want to talk about lots of fruits? You just you just passed by the shark that just entered in here. Let me tell you about lots of fruits on it. But fragrant strawberry cream, I think it's adorable that, like, you know, Dark Choco wants the very fragrant strawberry one with four tiers. Which, hey, I gotta be honest, especially if you want all the tiers in the world, I don't judge you at all. I would love a nice four-tier cake. But I could probably look behind me and, like, mention some more gifts that I got for Christmas. But, man, it's just, like... While I didn't get many in, like, quantity, the quality of them? Freaking insane. Oh, and I also got a uh, $10 Dunkin' Donuts gift card. So I definitely want to use that at some point. Uh, go ahead and take a visit to Dunkin'. And just, like, do some shopping. Because that's, like, that's going to be fun. I like Dun I like going to Dunkin', especially pick picking up, like, a dozen donuts and some custom ones. Ooh. Now, a lot of blueberry frosting, we'll just add, like, 12 on there for you. So, let's give you a nice little silly face. Because I know you like it silly. I know how you are deep inside. So, little, uh, eyebrows. And then some right here. You would, you would probably enjoy how I'm making this cake secretly inside. I know you would. Uh, let's do a big cheeky smirk with a growing mouth. And then, like, you know... Oh, look at that. That's a nice smirk. The little dimples right there. Come on, look at this. You would love this. Oh, and a little bit over here. Perfect. Mm. 
What is that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a lot. Well, at least you did ask for a lot. And uh, you want lots of fruit on it. Sure. Uh, I'll put put on some nice blueberries. I'll put uh, blueberries over the dimples. Uh, how about some blueberry eyes, actually, just to make them, uh, make them stick nice right there. It's kind of over it, but you know who, who the public cares? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, confirm that. If you want lots of fruit, I'll put on some... Uh, hmm. Maybe some of this right there. Don't ask me what that is. It's like a little, somewhat like a beard. And then eight. And then we'll put on some cherries for you just because I can. Like a little, like, like a little, like some sort of a hair. It's kind of like a clown, I gotta be honest. I think I just made clown <laughs> to some extent. Some real weird sides, but you know what? Here, there you go. This is your cake. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what you asked for. Yes, indeed it is. This cake pacify the raging blizzard to my soul oh that's so sweet thank you for the money you have a wonderful day we'll only make two more cakes and then we can finally end this episode pancake cookie do you have an acorn jelly cake no um uh, i i think i have a vibrant uh, a vibrant blueberry cream cake please uh, a three-tier cake will be cute just like me all right well then oh and also a loud car outside i want a loving frosting and mint frosting two of them each please okay so two of each that seems simple enough Vibrant Blueberry with three tiers. We can do that simple enough. But, yeah, it was just very exciting. I really love this Christmas. I'm, I'm just trying to look behind me. Like, that's why my mouse was off-center. I was just trying to see if I had more gifts that I could talk about. But, like, I'm pretty sure there are more. But I'm just kind of forgetting about them. But, eh, it's whatever. I'm just glad of the things that I got anyway. A three-tier Vibrant Blueberry. And two Lemon 2 Mint. Lemon, Lemon, Mint, Mint. Good plan. All right. Let's go for the lemon, lemon, mint, mint. I'm about to end, I'm about to end this video after this last cake. You know, the cake after this one. We got lemon, then we got lemon, then we got two fresh mints. Mint one. It was mint, right? <laughs> lemon mint, yes. Perfect. Lemon. And that's not lemon, that's mint, but then mint. Honestly, the colors of lemon and mint go very well together, I have to admit. But perfect. We only have one more cake to do after this, and then I'll have access to every cutscene available in the holiday bake shop story. Well, I actually do now, but just so I can finish off the next video, like, with getting the rest of the uh, stuff. That, it goes all the way up to 70, basically. But anyway, now we have Vampire Cookie. It's the final one. What is this? Uh, just the yellow extreme, I guess. Oh, three tears would be nice. Okay. Uh, of course, with the last cake, I got enough to plumbing. Look it up. Okay, so for, for this order, it can actually change. You can either get one or the other. So they asked me for the yellow extreme, which is basically, obviously, it makes sense. It's four yellow cream frosting cakes, like a four tier cake. But it also asks for four lemon frostings and no toppings. However, they can also ask for the pink extreme, which is basically the same thing. It's a four layer of uh, vibrant, like a fragrant strawberry cake, but has four strawberry toppings. Or frost, just frosting, four fro strawberry frostings. Why is that so hard to say? And that's it. There's no like milk supreme or something like that. I'm not sure how that would go out, but whatever. We'll just finish this cake up and then I can finish this episode. I'm happy that I used up all those plumbing uh, piping bags and I served all of these cookies well. And also, I'm probably going to do another slide video where I talk about all the reviews that I got because I certainly have way more than enough reviews that I need to go through. Thank you very much. This should be five stars to your extent. Huh? Hold on, wait. Did I mess something up? Wait, wait, no, hold on, no, no, this can't happen like this, not like this, not like this. Are you- wait, did I get- did I- wait, did I do three tiers instead of four? Am I- am I an idiot? Oh, that, oh no, hold on. Wait, hold, okay. Well, I gotta do this on another episode again. I'm not. <laughs> every single cookie I've got, except for Vampire, is four star. The one would pro who would probably find anything to be fine in the state he's in. Guess I'm gonna save her with a glass of grape juice. Okay, th well, you're gonna have to come back at a later point, but the cake height. The cake height! I did three, didn't I? I did three, didn't I? Am I s and I gotta deal with you! <laughs> I'm not saying you're bad, but you're telling me it's a cake that I have to look up. Oh, pleb. I'm just gonna deal with that in another video. I completely goofed, goofed the scoop on that one. Uh, but remind me, the uh, you probably won't remind me. I'll probably have to remind myself. But the next time that I play, I'm gonna invite Vampire Kiki back and get it right. Of course, I think I was too busy focusing on other things. I think I was the drunk one in that one. 
Oh, I would just do that in the next video, the next time that I do this. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merchandise in the next... Uh, I have merchandise in the description if you want to check that out. I'm not forcing you to buy anything, though. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. And also, let me just check. Yes, I have enough to reach all the story. But... Also, there's a, <laughs> I have a Discord, which is linked down in the description too. It's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's also a link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Cookie Run, cookie run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Oh, I can also get this on level 8 and uh, get 40 times. Wow. Anyway, hail the hype piece.